Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Adam Evermiller from MotionWorks After Effects A through Z series. Today we're gonna to be looking at CC Page Turn. Uh, so let's jump right in. Uh, right, let's apply CC Page Turn to our clip. And uh, we can see it already has done something by default. It, it looks as though we have a nice little page turn. Well, this is all simulated, so don't, don't think that if you can add a camera that you'll actually get 3D. That's something that you would get uh, with other plugins, uh, like Shapeshifter or um, even now CS6's um, extrude options. You can actually move things around, but this is just a, a 2D simulation. Um, let's go ahead and work through the controls. With the controls, um, our first option isn't actually even really an option unless you have the Sycor FX HD package bundle, um, which I think it's about 80 bucks online. And um, this allows you to actually choose the different corners of your footage, I believe. Um, I actually haven't played with it myself. So if you wanna spend the extra and get that to play with, go for it, that sounds good. But we're just gonna be working with the classic user interface today. Um, okay, so full position, this is a key frameable point and this allows us to choose, you know, how, how our page is going to turn. Um, and so obviously you can set a keyframe for one point here. If we were to keyframe this and then move it forward a little bit ways and move it to the end, then you have yourself a nice little, uh, nice little page turn wipe, which is neat. And we'll back that up. And uh, our next option here is the full direction. And this allows us to turn, okay, is this folding like a, a piece of, um, you know, like a, a normal book, or is it folding up a lot more like a calendar? Um, and this is just a 360 rotation, which allows us to choose the direction of the um, of the turn. Next, we have the fold radius. This is the actual corner here. Let me turn that back so we can see a little bit more accurately. This is actually the roundness of the corner here. Is the fold radius? If we if we drop this all the way down. Drop it down as low as it'll get. I'm not sure why it defaults to four as the lowest we can go. I'm not sure why that instead of zero, but that's what we're left with. Um, all the way down at its lowest, it really almost looks like it's a hard fold. It's like you ran your finger across the, with your thumb and um, you know folded this with a hard edge, which could be cool if you're trying to simulate like maybe a, a paper airplane being folded up or something. Um, but then as we stretch it out the other way, we can see it It kind of creates a round, more of a round look. and. Uh, just to see it a little bit better, we'll pull it out more. Um, so the fold radius really can really determines how 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 wide the radius of the turn actually is. So I feel like the the, the further out you go, the more it looks a little realistic. If you have it reset back to its default, um, it's a little bit of a of a hard forced edge there. So as we see, we have a little bit of almost a specular here on the, on the back end as we, as we look close, almost a, a little beam of light. So I don't know if they assume that we're dealing with a glossy piece of paper here or what. Um, and that right there is, is altered by the light direction. So the way that you rotate that determines how, how the light is gonna hit that edge. If you rotate a certain angle, you can kind of darken the edge and then you can add a bit of a highlight as well. I tend to just leave this off because I'm not working with glossy, <laughs> glossy paper. So let's reset that. We'll, we'll re re reset it for now. Um, and then render here, this is, this is a fun one and it may seem obsolete, but this actually is a pretty cool feature. The fact that you can render the front and back page, this is the front page facing towards you and then the back, which we're now seeing, you can render just the back, which is that section, and then just the front, which is just this section alone. Um, and now why, why would you need to have this option? Well, uh, we'll get to that in just a second. We'll, we'll kind of um, end with that thought. Uh, now moving down here to back page, if we do a front and back selected, we can select clip one, which is what it is, that same clip, or what if we select clip two, which is another image that I have here, another video I have um, in the comp. I can do that, and as I move it over, let's grab that again. Now it's seeing that I'm revealing a, a different image here. So that means that my back page is different than my front page, which is kind of neat. Uh, opacity means how transparent it is if we're dealing with a uh, overhead projector, uh, you know, gloss, uh, glossy transparency thing here, or if it's solid, which I would imagine if we're dealing with hard paper, it would be solid. Uh, and then lastly, we have our paper color. This is if we have a back page and we don't have any other thing selected, we just say none, it's gonna say, all right, well, it has to be something if you want a back page, so let's force it into being a color. So you can have it set as a color there. So, well, now let's, let's look really quickly at why anyone would ever want to render the back and front page separately. So I'll go back to 
clip one with this. All right, well, let's say that you wanna have it look like there are two pages turning. So let me just make this a little prettier for a section, uh, for a second. I'm gonna kinda copy my CC page turn and actually paste it right here onto my second clip. And I'll move it, uh, move it back a little ways here. Grabbing CC page turn, I'm gonna go back. Okay, so I have two, sh two pages, um, the front one and the back one, and this is all fine, but now I wanna make it look like that second page is going in order with the, you know, would actually be over, folding over the, the first page there. So this is where it, you, I might wanna separate the two. So with clip two selected, I can, I can right click and say, uh, clip to front and then have just render front selected, which would be that front page that we're seeing, but on the, on the clip two. And then I can just duplicate that and then write uh, clip to back, then moving it in front of my clip one, I can then select the back page. And if I solo that for a second, it allows us to see just that. So I have my layers in order are the part that's being folded my back fold, and then the front side of my second sheet. So now it allows me to actually fold. Now granted, if I, if I go to alter anything, if I, I, wa I want that to be the last step that I do, because at this point, if I go to alter anything, I'm gonna mess it up. Because right now it's perfectly synced. I've literally just copied and pasted uh, the same exact data from one to the other, just swap those. So if you're gonna do any animation or anything, make sure you get your animation done first before you start breaking up the front and the back page. Well, this is a quick look at CC Page Turn. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, my name is Adam Ever Miller for MotionWorks, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.